Hello, welcome back to my channel, Amethyst Rose Tarot. If you're new here, thank you for joining. Um, I do believe that if you've stumbled across it, hey, it um, could be very well be your message and it was meant for you to see it. Maybe if it doesn't resonate with you, maybe it resonates with someone around you, close to you. Um, but please hit that like button. Um, if it resonates with you, leave a comment so we can grow the channel. It is new, very, very new. Um, hit the subscribe button um, so that y'all can know as this grows, um, if the messages um, resonate. All right, we're going to hop right in. We're going to pull a star temple oracle, okay, for some guidance to get started before we hop into Tarot and see what's going on. All right, we're going to make a, this message a B. Today is June 12th as I'm recording this. So we'll make this message for the next seven days. So June 12th through June 19th. What's going on, Spirit? Talk to me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Those from the highest white light. All right. Ooh. This came out backwards, and the deck is not upside down at all. All right. Um, number 38, the fallen star, shame. I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. Maybe someone could resonate with that. The fallen star. Okay. So, we'll get into the tarot and just see what's going on with the message. All right. I've already pre-shuffled the day, but I'll shuffle one more time on camera. The falling star. I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. All right. So somebody's going to be stepping into some light. They're not. No, no, no more living in shame. Okay. What messages do you have, Spirit? Okay, exactly. All right. Got the page of wands here. That can represent just, you know, having your eyes set on something new. This is, whatever this is, it's something new. All right. Tell me more. Okay, hey, we got the page of pentacles. Okay, pages can um they represent they can represent messengers they can uh, they can represent a message they can represent children so we're gonna see what's going on here. All right, we got the stream card represents Leo energy. All right, but yeah, maybe it's taking a lot of strength to hey step into that light. Okay. Tell me more. What's the message here? You got the fool. Yeah. It's going right along with it. I'm telling you. Somebody's trying to do something new. Take a leap of faith. Explore. Explore. Go out on a new. Start a new um, adventure. A new project. They have an investment. They're studying something. Somebody's about to. They're about to actually have the strength to do something. Tell me about the fool. As divine opportunity. That is a, a opportunity for the divine. Could also uh, represent the male part. But what's the ace of wands? Queen of Pentacles is the earth sign. Um, woman. 
King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this King and this Queen of Pentacles is going to take advantage of this new opportunity. Okay. Maybe a new business venture. All right. Tell me more. What's going on, Spirit? What's the message? What is the message? All right. Could be a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles. Could be two children here. Could be two children. Okay, the damn car here. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck represents uh, something that's sad. Hopefully it's not a physical death. But what is the death card? The two of cups. Two of cups is partnership. Soulmate energy. And then the ten of uh, wands at the bottom of the deck. Could be Sagittarius energy. The death is will be your energy. Tell me more about the death and the two of cups, spirit. Tell me more about the death and the two of cups. Death and the two of cups. Clarify death and the two of cups. Oh yeah. Judgment. Divine stepping in. Something must end for something else to begin. So maybe this soulmate connection has had a transformation. Okay. All right. What kind of message do you have for the collective spirit? What other messages do you have for the collective? June 12th through the 19th. What other messages do you have? Clarify the judgment. Because this could also mean be meaning that a partnership is um, dissolving, okay? And it's judgment. I just seen the devil card. What's the judgment card with the two of cups? Here, Archangel Michael, step in, protect me as I channel the energy for the collective. Judgment and the two of cups. Yeah. Four of Swords represents uh, something being put to rest. All right, and that's just it's so something is karmically being put to rest here. All right, I'm picking up also though that a, a, a soulmate connection is being um, rebirthed, is being restored. And that's judgment as well. All right, spirit, moving on. What else? Eight of cups. Somebody is walking away from something emotionally. Ooh. Somebody's walking away from something emotionally. Let's see what that's about. Spirit, what's the message? Please and thank you. What's the message? The collective. June 12th through the 19th. Okay, so somebody is walking away from family. Okay, from a family. 
Family Dynamic. All right. And leaving behind some money, too. By doing so. So walking away from something emotionally. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Wands. So it's going to happen quickly. Some communication could be happening about it. Communication of a decision. The decisions you walk away from something. All right, no equal give and take there, okay? So somebody is leaving something because something is not equal. Something is not right. I just seen the devil card again. Okay, so maybe somebody is trying to buy someone with money. Or buy um, their family with money. Stay in the family dynamic for money. Something like that. Somebody is getting paid to be. Maybe somebody is getting paid to be in a family or be a family. But they're walking away emotionally. They're walking away from this. And it's going to be communicated. Okay? What other messages? Let's move on. What other messages do you have for the collective? Spirit. We got the six of um six of wands. Six of Wands represents, it could be victory, accolades, success. Tell me about the Six of Wands, Spirit. For the collective, June 12th to June 19th. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody about to blow up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This could be an actual star, or it could be restoration, healing. Okay? Tell me more about the Six of Wands and the Star card, Spirit. What's going on? Seven of Cups. So, options. Okay? So... Not only is this person going to blow up or somebody is receiving recognition and accolades, but they're going to have it from different, all different kinds, multiple, multiple ways. This is somebody who is multi-talented. Tell me more about the star and the six, the seven of cups. The empress could be a Libra. All right. But the Empress, she embodies all the queens. Could be an energy now, guys. This could be a man. All right. But something is something is done. Something is over. Okay. What is what is the ten of swords, spirit? Somebody being left out in the cold. Somebody was betrayed. And left out in the cold. We got the Eight of Pentacles here. Could be somebody to work with. So could be somebody in the community. Gossip. Okay. And somebody was backstabbed here. By multiple people. Multiple times. And now somebody's going to blow up. Got the Seven of Swords here. What's the Seven of Swords, Spirit? The seven of Swords is sneaky, deceitful energy, lying, cheating, stealing. What's the Seven of Swords? Could be a strategy. Yeah. The Magician. 
So somebody could have been doing work on someone. Okay. So we'll see. A magician spirit. But it's over. It's over. All right. It's coming out. And somebody looking back on something. Stuck and confused. And the hey man is upside down, y'all. Supposed to be like this. Are they coming out of being stuck? Maybe they maybe somebody is coming out of this magic. The magic is wearing off. And and they're able to think. They're not stuck on what they're thinking. Alright? It hurts. And the Queen of Swords gonna cut off anybody that's in her way, alright? It's gonna be a commitment. Look at that. Beautiful. Somebody's making a decision. And no longer confused. They want this spiritual connection. This divinely guided connection. And they're going to have it, all right? All right, let's get a crystal mandala oracle before we get out of here. See what's what. What crystal you guys could use. Um, to help you. But somebody, like I said, you know. The Star Temple Oracle that we pulled at the beginning, number 38, the Fallen Star. Shame, I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. All right. So this is uh, Crystal Masters 333. Number 25, Ascendant Master Yoga <laughs> Yogananda and Rhoda Knight. All right, <laughs> empowered service. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna read it. Um, what it means, okay, and see what's going on with this one. Y'all, please be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. All right, we bring you the blessing of empowered service. It is, your it is your time to assume your place in the world at the table of the masters who serve the loving hand of the divine. You have been asking for your purpose to be more clearly unveiled and manifested in the world. You have endured lessons of patience. You have learned that spiritual progress can be made even without results being immediate, immediately obvious. You have learned trust and willingness to surrender your personal desires into a larger plan. We know that of which you are capable, and we now invite you to step into the next level of empowered service available to your soul in service to the greater plan, greater plan of divine love unfolding, okay? I just talked about that divine love, okay? So don't be afraid. All right, I can't pick this up. Don't be afraid. I knelt now. I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. Okay? All right. Please like, share, subscribe. Guys, come back for another one. This was your reading for June 12th through June 19th. Y'all have a great day. I shave.